Hello, everyone. Welcome to Introduction to Lightning Container Component, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Platform. I'm Xander Dale, a Lightning Platform Developer. And I'm Gurvinder Singh, also a Lightning Platform Developer. We'd like to thank all of you for taking time and coming for our presentation. If for any of you, this is your first session as an attendee, do not worry. You are in safe hands. It's also our first ses session as presenters. <laughs> yeah, that's the case. And we are developers, so we want to show you this cool new feature that we've been working on from the perspective of developers. So we're going to show you some code. We're going to show you some demos. We have some really cool things to show you today. So of course, before we get started, I want to make sure that you're only making your purchasing decisions based on what's currently available in the platform. Uh, the feature we're talking about today, Lightning Container Components, is generally available on the platform. But we may discuss some things that we're considering adding in the future. So make sure you only base your decisions based on what's currently available. All right. So just a quick feel of the audience here. Uh, how many of you have ever developed an app with Angular, the JavaScript framework? All right, a couple people. What about React? A couple more. And Vue? Oh, we got some Vue supporter. That's great. Well, we hope that the feature that we have to show you here today will help enable you to use those skills, or if you're thinking about adding those skill set in the future, on the Salesforce platform. So Guru, help me out. What exactly is a Lightning Container Component, or LCC for short? I'm glad you asked. So LCC is essentially a sandbox on Lightning which allows you to use the front-end JavaScript framework of your choice on the Salesforce platform. Wow. OK. So maybe you could help unpack that just a little bit. That's a pretty dense statement. Absolutely. So LCC is a sandbox on Lightning. If you want to develop a custom Lightning component, then this is your way. And much like a real sandbox, it will give you the power to shape and mold your Lightning component with an incredible amount of customizability, right? Oh, wow. And second, and this is where we truly break from sales for tradition, is that instead of asking you, telling you what to do, you can choose the framework of your choice. You can bring your favorite front-end framework and use LCC to package your app as a native Lightning component. Wait, so if I'm understanding you correctly, you're saying I can bring the latest and greatest that JavaScript has to offer and use it today on the Salesforce platform? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And um, here's a fun fact. Every day, 450 packages are uploaded to NPM, the famous JavaScript uh, packaging manager. At Salesforce, we are, we are fast at developing Lightning components but even we cannot match that pace. Unless we give, we share with you the power to harness this. All right. So how does LCC work? All right. Let's break it down. So LCC is a custom lightning component with an iframe. Inside that iframe, it displays the contents of a static resource. And this static resource would be the app which you develop in Angular or React, for example. Since LCC is a custom Lightning component, it has all the power and benefits of being a Lightning component, allowing you to use it anywhere Lightning components are used, while at the same time being totally customizable. Wow. All right. So how do we get started with LCC? Let's break it down into simple steps. Right? Step one, choose your framework. Choose your favorite front-end framework and build a basic app with that template. Step two, pack your app. You run Zappag to package your app into a single location, and then zip the build folder. And step three, upload a static resource. Once you have zipped that folder, upload that zip file as a static resource to your Salesforce instance. With these three simple steps, you have now installed your app and it is ready to be used in a Lightning application. Lightning applications? I know about those. So once you've installed your application, you want to expose it inside of Lightning. And so we've added this new component called Lightning colon container. And it's super simple to use. All you have to do is include a source. And you point it to the static resource that you uploaded. And then you have an entry point into your app. In this case, it's the index.html. And with that, boom, you've exposed your Lightning Container component. 
And the cool thing about this is you can use this in an or application or a component. You can have this so it can be drag and dropped inside the Lightning App Builder. So it's a really powerful feature. Excellent. Thank you, Xander. I think we have shared enough theory with them. Do we have anything practical to show, something in the real world? Absolutely. Uh, since we're developers, of course, we want you to be developers too. And so we want to get you from zero to LCC today. We want you to be able to go home and create your very own LCC app. So following Guru's instructions, uh, what I did was I went and I picked, I wanted to do a trivia app. I want to teach people more about JavaScript. And I want to have it in the Salesforce platform. So I found this really cool React trivia app. So I've chose my framework. Now, next thing I do is I just got to pack up the app. So I'm going to do npm run webpack. And so this is taking all the different parts of JavaScript and combining them all into the build folder in a nice small package. And then once that's built, all I have to do is go into the build directory. And I, do a zip, I create a zip file from that. So I'll call it LCC React Trivia. All right. So now I can do, I can show my LCC React Trivia app. So this is just the React application that's just zipped up. Now what we want to do is go to the platform and upload it as a static resource, which is step three that Guru mentioned earlier. So let's come over here. We're going to go to Setup where we upload static resources. Then I just come in here and I type static resource. And then we're going to create a brand new static resource. And we'll just call it trivia resource. And then I will go and find that zip file that I just created. And I will save it. All right, so now my application is set up on the platform. Now I just need to expose it in Lightning so I can use it. So of course, we're going to come over here to the developer console. And hopefully that's, that's big enough for everyone to see. Uh, so of course, what I want to do is I want to create my own trivia app, and not one that's already here. <laughs> and I will say new Lightning application. And we'll call it React Trivia. All right, and so now we're just going to use that lightning colon container, and we're going to specify a source. And so this is just going to be that static resource that I just uploaded a minute ago. And the way we say do that is we say dollar sign resource dot. And what was the name of that resource that I uploaded? Oh, I called it trivia resource. All right. So I'm just going to copy that in here. And then I need to mention the entry point into my application, which is index.html. Boom. Just like that, I've created my very first LCC app. So now I can do a preview of it. And oh, Whoa. there's my trivia application. So Guru, if we want to use this trivia app, you gotta, we got to test it out, make sure it works. Oh, I'm not a React person. Oh, come on, oh. come on. Pick one for me. OK, I'll go with the easiest. Um, React 101 for 100. All right. So what part of your application does React focus on? The model, the view, the controller, or all the above? Some help? A, B, are people all over the Let's go with B. Let's go with B, all right. B it is, all right. So this is our. React application. And as you can see up here, this is running on the Salesforce platform. So Thanks. this is not hosted externally anywhere. It's just right here on the platform. Awesome. Thank you, Xander. You literally took us from 0 to LCC in less than four minutes. Wow. So this is a fun application, but it could be more useful, right? Where we draw the power of LCC is to be able to communicate with the Salesforce platform. So. When you host your app through LCC, it's in an iframe. And to be able to communicate with the platform, we want to share some NPN modules which will be available to you. So let's start with that. So first we have is the Lightning Container module, which, through which you can send and receive messages with Lightning, and at the same time, communicate with Apex. Secondly, we have JS Force, 
which you can use to communicate directly with Salesforce APIs. And the last we want to mention is uh, Salesforce UX, which can help you to give a lightning look and feel to your app. Now, we have developed Lightning Container specifically for LCC. So Xander, why don't we dive deeper into the Lightning Container module? Oh, absolutely. All right, so the, as Guru mentioned, Lightning Container module contains uh, some packages so you can do messaging. And so what are we talking about when we talk about messaging? So you can have two Lightning Container components and actually communicate between the two using our messaging libraries here. You can also message from LCC to Lightning to the point where you could actually send Lightning events and receive Lightning events. So it's a very powerful tool, and it gets more powerful as we add even more Lightning events to the platform. The next thing that we have access to are Apex remote actions. So you can take Apex classes you've already created or new ones that you create, and you can access them from JavaScript and then parse the results right away. So it's a very powerful thing. You can do it all asynchronously, too. So you have that quick feel to your application. Finally, it gives you a key that you can use to access the Salesforce API using JSForce. And since we're developers, of course, we have to give you access or give you some coding examples to kind of show you how to get started with messaging. So in this case, you just import the lightning-container module. And then you just call send message on it. And you can send a dictionary. So you can format the dictionary any way you want, because you're going to be the one receiving it on the other end. So on the other end, in your Lightning controller, what you're going to do is you're going to create a handle message to take the message from LCC. And you can just quickly parse it, as shown here. The final step is in your Lightning colon container component, you want to add an on message and point to that message handler from the previous step. So those three simple steps, now you're communicating from LCC into Lightning. It's just as easy as that. Now I want to show you how to quickly use Apex remote actions from within LCC. So add uh, to your manifest.json that's inside your LCC app. You want to add this little extra bit where you have an Apex dash controller and mention the name of your Apex controller. This is important so that it, because we add a little bit of extra JavaScript to your LCC component at runtime. So we kind of use that to decide when to inject the extra JavaScript. Next, inside, you want to call Apex. And so it's very simple. You just say the Apex controller name, the name of the function you're calling, some parameters, and a callback function. So this is all within JavaScript. Excellent. Um, if you want to learn more about the Apex remote actions, you can search online. And we have pretty good uh, developer documentation available to you. So Xander, that was great. You showed us how we can use the different uh, NPM modules. It would be amazing if we had like a quick start app to show how it really works. Absolutely. And you know, we realize that it's important for you to not just you know, get some quick, quick examples, but we want to see a full working app. And so what we've done is created a quick start app. And don't worry about jotting down location of anything. We're going to have a link to it at the end of our presentation. Um, and what this does is it shows off some of the different features that we have currently working in LCC. And that way, you can go home and tweak it and use it right away. So here, I'm showing LCC Quick Start app, and I'm on the Context tab. And what we're showing is my information. So it says, oh, Xander Dale, my company, my title, Mr. Manager. That doesn't seem quite right. So I can just quickly come over here. I can change my title. I'll just, just a software dev. And because this is all accessing the back end, it gets updated automatically right here. All right. So that's kind of like how the context works. It gives you information about what the current user of the page is. The next thing I want to show you are events. And so events is the messaging system that I was talking about. So in this case, we're sending a lightning toast event. And I could show you. It's super cool. So you just say, toast me. And you can send an info toast success or warning. 
And this is a lightning event that's completely outside of LCC. So you might notice one other thing. Uh, these HTML buttons are kind of plain, right? Like, it doesn't really have that lightning look and feel that you'd expect. So I created this button over here to just kind of show the difference between when you use that Salesforce UX library that Guru mentioned earlier, like what it would look like inside this application. The final thing I want to show you are Apex remote actions. So what I have here, this is like a list of accounts that are currently with the company. And I can just look through here. And I, I've gotten this message through Apex. And I parsed it in JavaScript, displayed it to you. Now I can actually come in, and I made it so you can quick edit these fields. So I go, oh, that's actually located in the north, not the south. And I quickly save it, and that's also updated in the back end. So it's really just that simple. Awesome. Thank you, Xander. You, what you shared with us was a quick start app, which, by the way, should be available. And we have the link to it at the end of the presentation. Yep. And it is using the NPM modules, which we had mentioned earlier. Yeah. So while we have seen all the things which LCC can do, we should also mention some of the limitations we have with this, uh, with this feature. Unfortunately, Sorry. we do have one or two. So let's get to that. First of all, your Lightning Container component is currently restricted to five megabytes. What that means is that the static resource you upload, the size of your app, cannot exceed more than five megabytes. Um, we do not have a way to uh, save the state of your application. So if you do any navigation from the, from the first page, we are unable to save that. So what that means is when you come back to your component, we will take you back to the original, original state of the component, which, as Xander uh, showed in his demos, would be your index.html. So we recommend that you stick to single page applications. And the last thing is that we have a strict content security policy uh, which won't allow you to access resources outside of the Salesforce domain. So if you want to directly reference a YouTube video or a Twitter API, that is currently not available. That said, we are working on bringing many of these features to the platform in the future. All right. And with that. Yeah, so unfortunately, we're a little low on time. So we'll be over here. We'd love to take your questions. We'd love to provide some answers. Absolutely. Uh, but if you want some more information, you like more information about LCC, or you like more information about the Quick Start app, there's some links right there. And there's also information about how you can contact us. And thank you all so much for coming today. And we hope to see you guys using LCC in the very near future. Thank you.